guys, this is Bhanushri Agarwal, I'm here again. Uh, last time you must have seen that I have shared some tips and tricks to crack the campus friends interview and today here I am with Cracking the Tips for Polish interview. So uh, you guys must be knowing that Poland is becoming an increasing study destination for Indian students, not only because of the low cost of living and the low tuition fees, but also because of the high ranked universities and amazing courses and wide variety of courses for all the students. Uh, so I am here uh, to share what exactly the Polish consulate is looking inside uh, your file and your uh, interview for giving you the visa. Uh, um, in today's scenario, you must be seeing a lot of students are just giving a one minute or a two minute interview to the consulate, not only in Mumbai but also in Delhi. Uh, what exactly are being, uh, they being asked is random questions and basically more of the personal details or questions to just judge your English within those one or two minutes. Um, you can be asked random questions like what have you had for breakfast or you know how did you travel to Mumbai or Delhi or um, uh, what is the Polish weather or what is the weather in your uh, town where you're coming from. Uh, such random questions can be asked and we will look into these random questions more towards the end of the video. But today uh, let us concentrate on more impactful questions that can be asked to any of the student going to Polish consulate for their interview. Some of the questions that I have noted down are, you can see over here, uh, one is introduction of yourself. Uh, how would you introduce yourself is basically giving your background information for what exactly you've done in your past education. Secondly, uh, what is your family background, what are your parents doing, do you have any sibling, etc. Uh, third is your hobbies and fourth is if you've given ideas then it's a bonus point for you in the visa interview. Then comes why are you generally interested in Poland? Well, uh, for this you need to give an intensive researched answer as I would recommend you to give because uh, you know you need to give more of the uh, educational background or research background and today we have Google Guru with us. So please research on the net and my main tip for you is only and only research for Poland. If you give a genuine answer related to academics or you know more of a research thing which are not present in your country and which are present in Poland, well you can convince the consulate uh, of what exactly is your intention to go. Uh, third question comes is why have you chosen the particular university? Uh, so you need to research more uh, very intensively about the university that you apply for. Um, first of all, you can go into the reviews that have been left by the students who are studying there currently or the alumni students. Also, you can talk about the course contents that your course is going to be providing you and how that course content will help you not only build your future but also how your past education is connected to the course that you're going for. Then comes why exactly have you chosen the particular program or the particular course. Uh, again, uh, I would recommend that you uh, bring up your own answers and not give any, you know, um, uh, cliche answers that the consulate always is hearing about. Uh, how you can give your own answers is customizing them, researching about them and making your answers your own. You do not need to go on what others have answered to the consulate, you need to make your own answers. And for the course, I would recommend you can include uh, con uh, the course contents, how that course is going to help you in the future and also uh, what exactly is uh, the course going to benefit you. Uh, is what you should include in wireless course. Then comes uh, the future goal, which is another very important question and uh, will you know hold the genuinity of you being a student only. Uh, that is, uh, how will you define your future goal is whether you're coming back to India or you plan on joining some MNC over there or you're planning on joining your business or opening your own business is what exactly you have to mention in the future goal. And then comes the most important and frequently asked question is about the sponsors. Who is sponsoring you? Are you financially stable? Um, how much are you, uh, you know, uh, showing in your financial accounts and how exactly have you presented them is some of the random questions which revolve around this important question. If supposingly uh, uh, your parents are sponsoring you, so what exactly is their background, What, are, how are they earning that finance and how have they shown the finance is what you need to show. Secondly, if you have been working and you are your own sponsor along with the parents, then how exactly
exactly and where exactly have you worked for how long have you worked you need to show that as well however if you've got a third party help for example bank loans you need to mention that as well to the counselor because your bank statement uh, the loan statement would be put in your financial statement in your files uh, that has to be mentioned and uh, guys this is not the cliche way that the questions would be asked they can be randomly shuffled and asked to you or they can be just you know concentrating on one question particularly just to uh, see your English or your generality what I would recommend is please be honest and truthful about answering because the consulate the person who's sitting over there has been taking interviews for a long time has uh, is getting 25 to 30 students per day to give an interview so he can genuinely know whether the student is lying or is saying the truth please 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 go with honest intentions to get your visa cracked now comes uh, like i promised you that i will give you some random questions that are being asked uh, on daily basis to different students who are going for the interviews nowadays uh, one of them is the most famous one is what is the weather in poland and how would you survive the winter over there because it would be snowing uh, you need to know that as well uh, second uh, question that is asked is uh, like i mentioned about the sponsors that is a very basic question Third is about the hobbies. Now, you know, if you mention that you like football, so you need to even know uh, what is the Polish football team, who is the Polish captain. Uh, since Europe, as you people know, is very well known for its football. So, please mention such hobbies that you can answer in detail about. Uh, Fourth that can be asked is uh, what are your intentions? Are you only going to study there or are you going to do part time jobs also over there? Please mention that very clearly. Okay, uh, then. Uh, these are some random questions and also you know you can elaborate or they can ask elaborate questions based on these six questions as well um, that's all guys i'll see you soon in the next video with the next country toodles oh yeah um please like share and subscribe press the bell icon for subscribing and uh, i'm sharing my link i'm from where to go abroad we are uh, leading european consultants no we are not consultants sorry we are admission partners directly with the university in the 26 Schengen zone uh, so whichever university you want to apply for whichever country you can contact us anytime my link is below uh, you can share your documents or your queries on this mail id i'm also sharing my number you can contact us anytime on that as well uh, see you soon bye bye